Chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross on the ground all through the night in Watertown. Brian, a night of gunfire, a night of bombs, and now a door-to-door -door search for that dangerous terrorist. That's right, George, and dangerous is the word. The FBI had described them yesterday as armed and extremely dangerous. Those words are certainly true. Residents of this town have been told they may not leave their homes. They cannot go in cars. All stores have been shut. This town is shut down as a terrorist is somewhere in the vicinity. It began with the robbery of a convenience store in Cambridge around 10.30 Thursday night. A surveillance camera inside the store captured the image that matched the man identified only five hours earlier as suspect number two in the Marathon bombings. A short while later, on the campus of MIT in Cambridge, a shootout that left an MIT police officer dead. Next, the two men carjacked a Mercedes SUV and led police on a wild, violent chase through the streets of Cambridge into neighboring Watertown. We have reports that they have explosives here at the scene. There are explosives here at the scene. There's definitely hand grenades, hand grenades and automatic gunfire. The two men firing weapons and tossing explosives from the car at pursuing police. The chase ended with a gunfight in a residential neighborhood in Watertown where one resident took these pictures showing bullet holes. Colonel Tim Alban of the Massachusetts State Police. Several explosive devices were discharged from the car at the police officers. In the exchange of the gunfire, we believe that one of the suspects was struck and ultimately taken into custody. Suspect number one later died from his wounds. He was in uh, a traumatic arrest with CPR ongoing. We spent about 10, 15 minutes trying to resuscitate this patient. At 1.35 in the morning, uh, he was pronounced. But suspect number two got away, triggering a massive manhunt with residents advised to stay inside and not pick up any strangers as they drove through town. We believe this to be a terrorist. We believe this to be a man who's come here to kill people. We need to get him in custody. There are several thousand police officers and National Guardsmen who have been assigned to Watertown in a door-to-door -door search for this terrorist. They don't know where he is, and at every single report they get, you see dozens of cars chasing this way, that way. Uh, one of our producers was even told, keep your cell phones off if you want to stay alive.